In this problem, we're being asked to find the derivative of this function. Let's go ahead and do it. So f prime of x. Okay, let's focus on this one first. So if it was just the natural log of x, when you take the derivative of this, you just get 1 over x. So here it's 1 over this other stuff. So what you do is you use the chain rule. So it's 1 over x to the fourth plus 1, which is 1 over whatever's here, and then times the derivative of that inside piece. That would just be 4x cubed. Again, whenever you have to take the derivative of the natural log of some stuff, it's just 1 over whatever's there, and then times the derivative of the inside. That's the chain rule. Here this 4 is going to hang out because it's in front of a function of x. And we want to think of e to the x over 2 as e to the 1 half x. Because when we take the derivative here, um, we're going to use the chain rule. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So it'll just be e to the 1 half x. And then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of 1 half x is just 1 half. Because the derivative of x is 1. And then minus the derivative of x is 1. Let's just recap that before we simplify. So first we took the derivative of this. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Here it's the ln of x to the fourth plus 1. So we have to use the chain rule. So it's 1 over whatever's there. And then times the derivative of the inside, which by the power rule, you bring down the 4, subtract 1, you get 4x cubed. The derivative of 1 is 0, so I didn't write it. Minus, the 4 hangs out because this is a function of x. And then we're taking the derivative of e to the x over 2. Think of it like this, e to the 1 half x. Okay, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, but here it's e to the 1 half x. So using the chain rule, we take the derivative of the outside function, which is e. That's why we write the e again, e to the 1 half x, times the derivative of the inside, which is simply 1 half, and then minus 1. All right, last thing to do maybe is put this up, upstairs. So 4x cubed over x to the fourth plus 1. And then, oh, look at this. These simplify 1 half times 4 is 2. We have e to the 1 half x. We have a minus 1 here. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.